Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Salamat sa inyong support at sa patuloy inyong pagsubaybay sa aking mga videos. Yung mga bago at hindi pa nakakaalam ng aking YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe para ma-update kayo sa mga videos ko. Today, I am going to share with you some tips on how to factor quadratic trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c. Nandito nga pala yung mga sagot ng ating uh, practice exercises nung nakaraan sa ating common monomial factoring. So, please feel free to see kung tama yung mga naging sagot natin. Kung may mga tanong kayo, you uh, just type in to the comment section para masagot natin ang mga tanong ninyo. Ito na yung number 6 natin natin. So, ayan. Post the video para makita ninyo kung tama yung mga sagot ninyo. Okay. Paano nga ba tayo mag-factor ng trinomial kapag siya ay nasa form na x squared plus bx plus c? So, para makita, para makita ninyo, check natin tong ating example na to. If, for example, ang ating x squared plus bx plus c ay equal sa dalawang factors x plus m at saka x plus n, at itry natin isimplify yung kanang bahagi, yung ating right side of the equation. By simplified FOIL method, meron tayong x squared plus m plus n x at mn plus mn. So, pansinin ninyo, yung ating b ay equal kay m plus n. At yung ating c naman ay equal kay mn. In other words, yung coefficient ng x na b is the sum of m and n. At yung ating constant c is the product of m and n. So, kapag ang m plus n is equal to b at saka mn is equal to c, ang ibig sabihin nito kung halimbawa ang x plus 2 times x plus 5, i-add natin si 2 plus 5, magiging 7. So, that is the middle term coefficient na 7. Ano naman ang product ni 5 tsaka ni 2? So, 2 times 5 is 10. Ito naman si mn. And that is actually the constant of your trinomial. In other words, the factors ngayon ng ating x plus 2 at saka ng plus 7 plus 10, Whether sorry, the factors of x factors squared plus 7x plus 10 are x plus 2 and x plus 5. So, ganyan ang ating factoring procedure. Okay, illustrate ngayon natin yung ating example kanina. So, notice natin na ang x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to the factors x plus 2 times x plus 5. Yung 7 natin, yun yung sum ng 2 at saka ng 5. At yung 10 naman natin ay yun yung kanyang product. Product ng 2 at saka 5. Sa mga tweed, ang sabi dito, the idea behind factoring the polynomial x squared plus bx plus c is to equate it to a product para maging equal siya sa isang product ng dalawang first degree polynomial. Polynomials x plus m and x plus n. Para maging mas malinaw sa atin ang idea ng factoring trinomial with the form x squared plus bx plus c, tingnan natin ang ating unang halimbawa, x squared plus 9x plus 8. Ituturo ko sa inyo ang isa sa mga alam kong pinaka madali sa lahat ng technique na pwede natin gamitin pag nag-factor tayo sa ganitong uri ng trinomial. Ang tawag ko dito ay X method, okay? X method. Una, gusto kong malaman natin kung ano to. Itong sum na ito, isusulat ko dito 9. Tapos yung 8, 'yun yung tinatawag nating product. Mag-iisip tayo ngayon ng dalawang numero na ang product ay 8 at ang sum ay 9. Wala tayong magiging problema rito kasi parehong positive. Therefore, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 1 at saka 8. 
Ibig sabihin, the product of 1 and 8 is 8. The sum of 1 and 8 is 9. And sa ganun, ang magiging factor natin will be x plus 1 at saka the other one is x plus 8. So, that's just about it. Okay? Let's go to the second example. So, dito, ang ating magiging sum ay negative 1. Okay? Pero yung product natin dito ay negative 12. May naiisip ba tayong dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-add natin is equal to negative 1 at kapag pinag-multiply natin is equal to negative 12? So, dahil negative 12 ang ating product, ibig sabihin yung dalawang factors natin ay magkaiba ng sign. One is positive and the other is negative. Taking into consideration that their sum is negative 1, ibig sabihin since one is positive and the other is negative, therefore we get the difference of these two numbers. And definitely, wala namang ibang numbers, kundi 4 at at saka 3. But, there's more. Take note that our product is negative 12, therefore, one of these two is negative. So, alin kaya ang negative dito? Dahil 1 ang ating sum, ibig sabihin ang ating 4 ay negative. Therefore, ang ating factors ay x minus 4 and the other one is x plus 3. Okay? So, ganyan. Sana naintindihan natin at nakasunod kayo kung paano kunin ang factor nito. So, the third example. So, ang ating third example naman ay 2 at saka negative. Negative pa rin ang ating product. Therefore, if this is negative, okay, and this is positive, ibig sabihin yung factors ng 15, ano kaya yung mga factors ng 15? Yung factors ng 15 natin, isa ay positive at isa ay negative. So, definitely, the two numbers which when multiplied together and obtaining a negative value actually are 5 and 3. But take note, since your 2 here is positive, therefore, your 3 is going to be the negative 1. And then, ang factors natin would be, what are our factors? x plus 5 and the other one is x minus 3. So, yan. Next example is x squared plus 8x plus 20. Okay, sige nga. Ano ang ating factors? Ano ngayon ang factor ng negative 20? Ito ay 8. Ito ay negative 20. Okay, ano bang factors ng negative ng 20 muna? 2 and 10, 5 and 4, 1 and 20. So definitely, if we take into consideration this 8 as the sum of these two, definitely ang magiging factor na gagamitin natin ay 10 at saka 2. Correct? 10 at saka 2. But, ano ngayon ang sign ni 10? Is it positive or negative? Siyempre, positive kasi ang 8 natin is the middle term positive at ang 2 natin ang magiging negative. Therefore, our factors are x plus 10 and the other factor is x minus 2. So, mas mabilis, ano? Number 5. Number 5 is, ano naman kaya ang factor natin dito? So, again, let's have our cross. Okay, sulat natin dito si negative 5. At ito naman si negative 36. Again, negative na naman siya. Therefore, isa ay negative, isa ay positive. So, ilagay natin si negative dito. Ano naman kaya ang positive? Therefore, mas malaki ang uh, absolute value ng ating number dito, okay, ng factor dito. So, 36, ano ang factors ng 36? 1 and 36. 2 and 18. Ano pa? 3 and 12. So, medyo malayo, no? 4 and 9. Ayun, tumama tayo. So, ibig sabihin, this is negative 9 and this is positive 4. Therefore, our factors are x minus 9 and this is x plus 4. Okay, so that's all about it. Next example, 100 ang ating product at ang ating sum ay negative 29. So, ano kaya yung mga po pwede nating gamiting factors? 
Now, take note. If you try to notice, yung ating sign ng 100 ay positive. Therefore, nangangahulugan na yung ating dalawang factors ay pwedeng parehong positive or parehong negative. But, the fact na ito ay negative, and it follows then that our factors are both negative. So, ano yung factors na gagamitin? 4 at saka 25. So, ang sum natin ay negative 29 at ang ating product ay 100. So, since these are both negative, then i-indicate natin this is negative 4 and this is negative 25. Therefore, our factors would be x minus 4 and this is x minus 25. Okay. Next. Number 7. Okay, anong number 7 natin? Mabilis lang ito. Sandali na lang. We have 72. So, this is negative 1 and this is negative 72. Ang factors natin, 72. Ano yung dalawang factor na 1 ang difference? Siyempre, we have 8 at saka 9. But since negative 1, I mean, 1 is negative, therefore, 9 is negative. At ang magiging factors natin ay 8, x plus 8, and x minus 9. Okay? Okay, number 8, x squared minus 30x plus 144. This is negative 30, and this is 144. Since this is positive, ibig sabihin parehong negative ang ating factors dito. The only factors of 144 that will give you a sum of 30 or negative 30 would be 6 and 24. Therefore, ang factors natin ay x minus 6 and the other one is x minus 24. Okay? Number 9, ano naman kaya ang ating magiging factor dito? So, this is again 14 and this is negative 51. In other words, ang ating magiging factors dito, isang negative at saka isang positive. So, ano naman kaya ang negative dito? Ano ang factors ng 51 na alam natin? So, we have 17 and 3. So, dahil positive ang 14, ibig sabihin, nandito sa 17 at ito ay si 3. Okay, therefore, ang ating magiging factor ay x minus 3 at ito ay x plus 17. Okay. So, ito na ang ating huling alimbawa, x squared minus 20x plus 96. So, ano kaya ang magiging factors natin dito? Ang ating sum ay negative 20 at ang ating product ay 96. So, nakaisip na ba kayo ng dalawang numbers ng product ay negative, uh, ay ang sum ay negative 20 at ang product ay 96. So, dito, pansinin ninyo na ang ating sum ay negative 20, therefore, parehong negative ang ating factors ng 96. Okay? Kasi positive si 96, negative times negative is positive. And there's no other pair but 12 and 8. Therefore, this is x minus 12 and the other factor will be x minus 8. So, sana may natutunan kayo ngayon sa aking video at patuloy ninyong suportahan ang mga susunod pang mga video na aking i-upload. Sa mga bago, sana mag-subscribe kayo sa aking channel para Pare-pareho tayong matuto. Okay? Thank you very much and God bless. Pero bago yan, ay iiwan ko muna sa inyo ang mga exercises na ito para sa inyong practice. So maraming salamat muli at God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much.